Without a doubt, my book club is going to be better than your book club. And if it was a competition, we would win, but it's not a competition. Everyone enjoys their book club in their own way. So I wanted to do an introductory video to help you understand more of what Rebel Woman Lit is and also for you to just get familiarized with what I expect from doing this channel. Hi, I'm Jerrine, the founder of Rebel Woman Lit, a book club that's based here in Jamaica that has grown into an extraordinary literary community. So we have a podcast, like a real book club, we have a bookstore, and we have physical book club meetings in three cities in Jamaica and one online. And now we have a YouTube channel. Yeah, welcome. Huh. So, typically I notice that most people who are on booktube which is the side of youtube that primarily talks about books it's individuals it's not so much organizations or groups they tend to do an introductory booktube tag or newbie booktube tag but those just doesn't make any sense for what we do at rebel amendment so i wanted to create a tag <laughs> that would fit more in terms of what we do and also looking at book clubs. I noticed that there was already a book club tag which is a few years old but it, I didn't like it so I created a new one. I'm hoping that even if you aren't a book club YouTube channel you can do once you are in a book club to so just answer these questions about your book club and it also helped me to get an idea of what exists out there beyond what we do at Rebel Women Lit. Alright, so the first thing is the name of your book club and when, how did you start? So the book club is Rebel Women Lit, which I've said before. We started about three years ago, although technically we've been active for probably a year and a half or maybe two years because I did take a long hiatus. So one of the reasons I started the book club was I was heavily involved in LGBT and women's rights advocacy here in Jamaica and I, I loved the work that I was doing, however I didn't see a lot of alternate spaces that people could feel safe and comfortable in. They existed primarily in party spaces and I'm not really a party or yeah, it's just not my thing. So I wanted to create a space where people can do, people can come in, an alternative space, a more nerdy space, I suppose, for persons who belong to any of these communities and, or any of the allies who just wanted to chill and not have to think about the advocacy of it all. And it's, is your book club open to new members or is it close to friends? We were originally closed to just friends and then it became a situation where people were just like, oh, I want to invite my friend of a friend, and it, it just became, it just made sense for me to open it. Is there a theme for the books that you pick, and how do you pick them? Primarily, we do read books that are written by black women. Um, we, I like to focus a lot on books that are coming from the Caribbean, Africa. We also read books by non-binary writers. We also read books by a few men. Um, involving black and from the Caribbean. It's such a thing that once you start, you kind of don't want to stop reading Caribbean writers, primarily Caribbean women writers. I would say that I would like us to read more canons that people may not necessarily be familiar with. That, that's kind of where I want to go. How do I pick the books? I pick the books. So I select the books. We've done the thing before where we have members select books and it's been uh, up and down in terms of the quality of the books that we've read. Also sometimes people don't come to book club meetings until it's their book. So I pick the book. It's very undemocratic. I, I'm a benevolent dictator when it comes to books and I'm okay with that. So the next question is which books were a big hit with your club? I can feel myself smiling. <laughs> As I said, I pick the books, but that doesn't always mean that I like the books, because sometimes I'll read them ahead and sometimes I'll read them with the book club. And most of the times, especially this year, I think 2020 we've had an amazing reading year, and I do think the books are really great so far, if I do say so myself. I mean, I picked them, but you can ask the members, they agree. 
most of the books we've had so far hits. It's actually pretty hard to answer this question. I think an all-time favorite that everyone in the club really loves is Here Comes the Sun by Nicole Dennis Ben. It's set here in Jamaica, so obviously there's a huge Jamaican bias here, which also means that it's really good because I don't know I'm yet to meet any Jamaican that has read this that doesn't think it's a good representation of what it's like being in Jamaica, whether or not they could directly relate to the characters. Everyone knew someone who was similar to that or everyone knew a community that reminded them of this book. So this is incredible and one of the reasons I say it's a hit is because everyone who comes to book club they read it, they love it, um, even if they're reading it years later, and they want to discuss it. Even though we read this when we just started book club, everyone still wants to read it and talk about it. Additionally, it was our biggest in-person book club meeting. We had just over 40 people show up to the meeting, which was... I, I love, I love you guys. I, I absolutely love the people I meet in book club. But 40 people to discuss one book? It was it was challenging. We had to split off into groups and have people come back and talk because you want to hear everybody's voice and everybody's excited about the book and they want to talk about it. But anyways, here comes the sun. If you haven't read it yet, um, you should. I think this is a great companion to Jamaica Kincaid's A Small Place, um, also Resisting Paradise by Angelique Doctor by Dr. Angelique Nixon, talks about the tourism industry here in the Caribbean, but that's just one level to this book. This book is very multi-layered and yeah, we could actually do a whole video of talking about this book. And I've been meaning to reread it and I haven't yet. So maybe, were there any books that you've read that were a flop? Yes. So two actually come to mind. I know I said I picked the books, but to be honest, I only picked one of these. So two books come to mind, and every time I think about them, I feel stressed out a bit because they're just so. It, it's it's not it's not embarrassing because on the surface it seems like something rebel women lit would read, but once you've read it, you're like, no, no, this doesn't work. So the first book that was a flop was When God Was a Woman by Merlin Stone. So this book, it sounds like something we would really like. like it was, it, it sounds like the type of thing, you know, Rebel Women Lit, that very feminist type of literature uncovering patriarchy and religion and blah 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 blah, all of that fun stuff. But it was so bad, it was so bad. I honestly think the book could have ended like here and I'd be fine. It's just that the author repeats things over and over and over again and you're just like, lady, please. It's not terrible in terms of the premise, the, the thesis, it's great. However, I honestly think it could have been an essay. Alright, so the next book, which I think, again, most people would probably assume, yeah, this seems like the type of book a woman like, would read. There's only one person that liked it, and I still want to talk to them to try to understand why. Because it was just so... It, it's funny in a bad way. It's really poor, and it's... Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James, and... I talk about this book in terms of a book I want everyone to read so I can laugh about it with them. It is really bad. I don't enjoy it. And I am a fan of Marlon James. I am a fan of his writing generally. I think he pushes a lot of boundaries in terms of the work that he produces. But this book was terrible. There, it was. It's high fantasy. There was no world building, which I think is necessary for high fantasy characters just did not exist really i i honestly think if this book was written by someone who was non-black it would have received a lot more heavy criticisms because i think it did bear along having a lot of stereotypes about africa 
being a black continent that's just a personal thing but most book club members did not like the book i felt really bad because i really really wanted to like this book i was really excited about it the idea of a jamaican writer writing a trilogy that would have the world's attention because this was written after the book all but i just didn't like it and i don't know if i'm going to read book two and if i do read book two it'll probably just be because i want to discuss it one two i love supporting caribbean writers who are writing things especially outside of poetry and literary fiction i think those two genres get a lot more attention in the literary space i think they're taken more seriously so that book was a flop but i still encourage people to go out and read it if you want you can listen to the audiobook the audiobook i think is a lot worse than reading it the accent is terrible. The accent sounds like Black Panther just came together to create an audiobook. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you're an audiobook person, maybe go for it. If you want a great comedy show, you can listen to the audiobook. Uh, it's also in the library. If you are based here in Jamaica, you can borrow the book from our library for free. I made this is sticky notes of the amount of times he said piss in the book and I had to stop because I was running out of sticky notes. But the next question is what's your favorite thing about book club? <laughs> My favorite thing about book club is that I get to meet new people. It's so interesting now that most of the people that I started book club with, they aren't necessarily active members now. And a lot of people that are active members were people I did not know existed before book club. And that is just so fascinating to me it, it really gets me excited i think you can probably see me smiling i love it i love being able to meet new people who have a passion for literature i love being able to meet new people who want to get passionate about literature and it, it's so fun it, it's amazing being able to meet especially like I know everyone talks about how difficult adult friendships are, but I think everyone talks about this in an American context. I don't know many Jamaicans who willingly accept that, yeah, making friends as an adult is hard. Making friends as an adult is, t -t -t is work. Being able to meet new people, whether online or in person, and being able to make new friends. That sounds so cute and cheesy. But it's true. <laughs> so, that's my favorite thing about it. Um, also, to a lesser extent, my favorite thing about it was that I created it and not in like a conceited way, it's just that I wanted something and I was able to imagine it and it became true. I think that's incredible and I'm really excited to be able to push the boundaries of what people think a literary space can look like here in the Caribbean. So those are my favorite things. Primarily meeting new people, secondary is pushing the literary boundaries or their imaginations as to what literary spaces can look like and what a book club can do. So yeah, that's my favorite thing. The final question is where can people find your book club if it's available online? So you can find Rebel Women Lit on Instagram, on Twitter, we have a podcast. The podcast isn't Rebel Women Lit, it is like a real book club. And we are also on Patreon, so if you want to support the work that we're doing, then you can go over and subscribe to our Patreon. And we have a website, so rebelwomenlit.com, and there you'll get updates as to the books that we're reading currently in the month and how you can join any of the discussions. So yeah, that's my book club. So I realized I created a book tag and I didn't tag anyone and there are probably going to be around 10 people watching this anyway. So all 10 of you, please go and answer these questions. If you don't have a YouTube, feel free to just answer them on your social media, that's fine with me. But if you are on YouTube, that would be amazing to see how many people actually pick up this tag. So out of the 10 of you, probably three of you have channels. I'd really appreciate that. If not, I am going to tag a few people that I hope will do this my book club tag. And don't feel intimidated if our book club is better than yours. I need to stop joking like that. 
before people take it seriously. You should, if you have a book club and you love your book club, I would really appreciate if you did this tag and shared what it is that your book club does and what makes you excited about it. I'm going to tag firstly Jerry from Onyx Pages who has been pushing me to start a YouTube channel for years now. So here we are, I hope I haven't disappointed her. Um, books are my social life, who's based in Trinidad. There is Pita over at Comfy Cozy Up, who is, I believe, Jamaican. Yes, they're Jamaican. And there is also Noria from Noria Reads, who is based in Nigeria. And all these people have amazing taste in books, so if it is that you like what Rebel Women reads generally, and if you just want to read not just diverse books but also really diverse deliberate books that from people who are also critical about these books then you should go check them out they're pretty cool that about wraps up my first booktube video and my first youtube video that's public so thank you so much for watching and do the tag and let me know if you want to join our book club please go do that to rebelwomenlit.com and if you want to borrow from our library if you're based in here jamaica go do that so I'll see you guys at book club.